I mean, hey, can we have breakfast? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, man. What do you want? I forgot. I guess hey, he's a celebrity. <laughs> Did you, do you know Matt Santos? I don't. No, no, no nobody. Neither does my wife. <laughs> and then uh, I, I am an addict. So okay. I'll share that with you. A butter addict. Okay. Not, not in recovery. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, I'm with you. I like butter. Do you? Butter's a good one, yeah. So if you could get a little extra butter, cause I, you know what I mean? Oh, I sit there and I dip my toast in. Dude, I'm talking yeah. to you. Okay, so. You're not the only one. All right, I met my friend. And here I am sitting with the man, the myth, the legend, Ted Leonard, who is the sound guru oh. for these parts. Oh, goodness. It's a lot like... Uh, Inviting over Wolfgang Puck or Bobby Flay to your house and then serving him a bowl of cornflakes. I'm <laughs> that would be very, very difficult, wouldn't it? <laughs> Two. So, uh, so when I'm 13 years old, I learned how to play, play drums. And then we put together this uh, rock opera. It took two years. And he wrote the whole thing. Yeah. And the thing had some great success. So we were opening for bands like uh, Aerosmith. And, and uh, let me tell you what happened. I, 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 I'm not a salesman. I turned into one, <laughs> but I went to Dale Carnegie. I, I had no idea how to do this stuff. I'm a rock and roll guy that does drugs, you know? <laughs> hey, can I introduce you in a car? Do you have any yeah. pot? <laughs> so everybody shows up. We're on the voting talk of Tim's Toyota Center. They won't let us in. <laughs> I said, they won't let us in. Why won't they let us The dogs are not done sniffing yes. the building. So I said, okay, I'm going to put it to you this way. I am about as stressed out as any human being can possibly be right at this moment. I'm talking to surf, the Secret Service guy. I says, here's how this is going to roll. <laughs> Either you're going to get us in, or there is not going to be a show. Are we very clear? Because I will. The next thing you know, uh, he's over there with the manager of the band. The manager's slosh drunk, and he ends up clocking a customer right in the face. 